If you have the eye test box, which is this one right here, the DS200, and you're not getting a picture on your test, particularly with the 6S to the 8 series, and then of course, this manual is in a foreign language, then you're gonna to wanna to follow this video. So right now we have an iPhone 8 screen that we're about to test and we're getting just constant beeping, just like you can hear it, like that. So what to do? I'm gonna take you over to the PC, show you which files to install, and what you wanna have is your, the cable that came with it. So on one end, you have your USB, this is gonna to go to your computer, and on the other end, you have your USB-C, which is going to go down at the bottom, right here, right where it says type C. That's where you're gonna plug into. And once we have this done, you go over to your PC and just follow what we're gonna show you now. Okay, everyone, so what you can see here is the link that I will provide on the video description. The link will take you to the three files that you see on your screen. This is the update to the iTest box as recent as January 14th, 2021. If there are any more updates, the same link that I provide for you will take you to that update. So before we do anything with what you see on the screen, I'm going to connect the iTest box like I showed you previously. And it's already connected to my computer, therefore I can hear I heard it click. So you're going to hear that notification sound when you connect the USB drive to your PC. And just give it a few seconds, maybe mine took about 12 seconds actually, I had to pause the video, and it came up. So where the drive, USB drive E in my particular situation is actually the iTest box itself. So there's a file in there that says iTest box underscore sn underscore code leave it there don't do anything so i'm just showing that to you so you know that it's there and you want to leave it there don't do anything with it by the way i want to give a shout out to jonas peters he we were just texting and he had the same issue and he was wondering why doesn't someone just make a video of it because the video that we have that was given to us was very poorly made so hopefully this is clear for everyone anyway thank you Jonas Peters appreciate it anyhow once you're back at the Google Drive file you want to download this right here so you just hit download and it will download it's gonna scan for virus and then it's gonna open it it'll probably give you the option to open it you can do this if depending on the browser I'm using Firefox but if it goes to your download file just open it you're gonna need a zipping or unzipping software I'm just going to do that now instead of hitting save file I'm just gonna open it and what you see is all these files in there so what you want to do is highlight them all and you can see it's the 6S, the 11, the 10S, all the different model phone files. And then right click and you're going to extract to a specified folder. So you're going to extract to a specified folder. You're going to extract this to your USB drive. If you don't know how to do this, just extract it somewhere where you know and then from there send it to your USB drive. But we're going to do that next. So this window will come up and what you want to do is select your USB drive E. As long as you can remember the name of the drive where your USB is. If, in case you have many multiple USB drives, just remember the one that you had put in, which is your iTest box, is the one you're going to put it into. So just select it, and hit OK, and it's going to do its thing. It's basically going to extract everything from that zip file right into your iTest box. 
once it's completed there's one more step that we need to do otherwise this will not work it'll be all in vain so once you have all this done and you're at hundred percent now we're gonna go back and show you the next step now that we are back at our work area if you notice the lights are green so it's on so you want to make sure you turn it off make sure you hear it beep so the next step is we're actually going to perform the update so what we need to do is press these two buttons simultaneously together at the same time and once we hear a beep we're going to see this little update light come on and what it's going to be doing is the files that we already put in here it's going to be pretty much uploading it or putting it up to date inside the system once it turns red that means it's done so let's do that do this simultaneously so you see how it's flashing it'll be do doing that for a little bit some models might take longer than others depending on the update again this update was in January of 2021 but it'll flash until it turns red once it turns red that means you are good to go it's, it's done it's already been updated so I thought I'd show everyone that because I've been hearing a lot of people having the same exact issue but you need the file and like I said the file would be at the bottom on the description so just click on the link to the to the file and you should be able to just use it and do it exactly like we showed you in the video you had there we go what you want to do after the update is turn it off so turn it off and then turn it back on okay 